Hello everyone. We made it to Tuesday. We made it to the 6th. This is the day that CNN I report pointed to to watch out for the first of the alignments. So we've made it to here. I wanted to bring everyone up on what what I'm up to date on on Elenin. And uh, I came over here and I posed a question and apparently it was either too good a question or not worthy of response because it was supposed to have been vetted and the post was supposed to be posted and answered we'll see if it maybe takes a little time so what I have to say about Elenin and this is September the 3rd that this is dated and when you come here and read through it he's talking about uh, <clears throat> excuse me how it is disintegrating and you can read through it absolutely clear that the comet's drop in brightness first noted by Michael Mariazzo on August the 20th was not coincidental the decay process had already begun and over the course of the next several days the comet changed greatly its pseudo nucleus became diffuse and extended and later vanished completely on images from September 1st in the comet's coma there was no condensation visible and that meant the comet had already broken up into fairly small pieces with a maximum size of not more than a hundred meters such a breakup of small comets passing near the Sun is not rare and in that it is nothing surprising I note that this is a breakup not an explosion all the pieces continue to move on the comets trajectory the large fragments are likely to continue to disintegrate into smaller ones it is possible that in October when the comet moves into the morning sky we will no longer be able to see what once was Comet Elenin. It is possible that something will be visible to large Earth-based telescopes. The breakup of a long period comet fairly close to the Earth on a solar system scale is a rather rare event. During such a breakup we can see the interior of the comet to better understand its construction and composition. Okay. Unfortunately, right now the comet is not visible to the largest telescopes or even the Hubble telescope because of its close angular distance from the Sun. On the other hand, amateur astronomers awaiting this comet, which might have been visible to the unaided eye, will now not see it, at least visually in their telescopes and binoculars. We will wait for September 23rd when the comet is due to appear to, in the field of the SOHO space coronagraph. Any result will tell us what we can expect at the beginning of October when the comet once again should appear in the pre-dawn sky. We will wait. The end of this story is near. Oh, is it now? Or is it just begun? Or is this the lead in for more? So, after you get done reading that, you can click on your comments right here. And then, whenever you get into the comments, it'll look like this. And then there's a couple of them. We'll look from TJ01. It's a miracle. A picture of a very healthy Elenin taken September the 3rd. And there's the link. You can click that link. Go look at that one. Elenin as seen by John Glossop September the 2nd. 
and you can click that link and go look at that one. So now, let's take a look. Now, what did he say? John Glossop is on September the 2nd, and this is a very healthy element on September the 3rd. The first picture I will show you is this one on the 3rd. So, there you go. This is the picture you will see when you click that link. This is the one called the Very Healthy Elenin. September the 3rd. Does it look to you like it's breaking up? Well, it's a long ways off, but what I can say is it's still there. And here is the other photo by the Glossop man, John Glossop, September the 2nd. Does that look broken up? Hmm. September's turning out to be real interesting already, isn't it? We've got contrasting stories. And Francis had some very nice photos that he brought out and showed. And they are very recent, and he made very many fine points. And as we go into September, farther and deeper, with all the dates that we already know, we also have something a little different here on the ground. An important meeting at the UN on September the 21st. It is a Durban 3 meeting which will serve as a platform for anti-Israel nations to denounce Israel. On that day there's a demonstration of pro-Israel supporters being held at the dog Hammarskjöld Plaza in front of the UN and they're asking for support <clears throat> that's that's going to be a big deal on this vote in September about the statehood so let's be aware that there's something big going on at this meeting and this is dated September the 5th So, everybody, I'm praying for everybody. It's getting dangerous. And we're just going to have to be aware of everything that we've talked about and pre prepared for. And we're just going to see where we go. We know what it could be. So, y'all be aware of what time it is and you can come over here like I showed you spaceops.org and get them links and look at those pictures and see what you think as it look to you like it's gone. Does that look gone? Possibly will it break up as they say? My personal view is no. I don't buy what they're telling. I'm not sure this will turn out to be a comet. But I know it's a something 
and I know it's not going away from what what I'm looking at and the things that I'm reading even when you go to JPL and you look at the the numbers they supply it just something doesn't seem right that doesn't match up with the story that they're adding to everything so on that note I'm going to go ahead and leave everyone and uh, y'all have a good rest of the week if I hear anything I'll come on quick and let you know I just uh, was thinking I wanted to put the, the latest thoughts of what I knew and uh, a couple of pictures out and uh, maybe you can see what you think when we hear your input but watch out today just in case that alignment does something God bless you all I'll talk to you soon see you in a while